If I select a catchment area, I can see from my drainage properties that at the moment it's using a user-defined time of concentration. If I change that to a composite time of concentration, I can then say that I want to calculate the flow path using maybe TR55 sheet flow. Let's uh, specify a Manning's N and a rainfall depth, and then part of it might be a shallow concentrated flow. So I'll set up those properties. Having done that, if I hover over the catchment, I can click the Calculate Flow Path icon. And we've calculated the flow path for the catchment. And if I then select the Locate button, I can choose a location along the flow path, such as that, where we're going to use TR55 sheet flow. We update the flow path so that the remainder of the length is now assigned to the shallow concentrated flow regime. We'll accept that and then we'll go back to our TC collection. And you can see that we filled in the flow path length and slope for both flow regimes.